Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to Craft with me today and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Alyssa and today we're making this ephemera or sticker storage folder. So I know this is not going to hold all of the stickers or ephemera that you have in your stash. It's just this simple little folder, but it's just a fun idea for you to play around with and do what you want with it. It's a great way to use up your scraps. And I mean, you could make 50 of these if you wanted to, to store all of your stickers. You can sort them by flowers, birds, different holidays, you know, whatever you want to do. And then you can just combine them into one whole book. You can just make one of these and send some happy mail in it and share your stash with a friend. So I just thought this was a fun idea. And of course you can put whatever you want inside of it. You can also make it whatever size you want to make it. So I will give you the measurements for this one that I'm going to make today. The whole entire folder here measures five and a half inches across by eight and a half inches. And so I put stickers on the front here. That's the back. And I used my vellum scraps and then you can see I used some branding strips as well just to create some pockets all on the inside of this folder. So I don't just have stickers in here. I did put a few journaling cards and I do like how you can see it through the vellum pocket, but if you don't have vellum, you don't need to use vellum either. So I just have a few journaling cards over here. And then I'm not gonna take everything out over here, but I just have some little ephemera pieces up top, all flowers. And then these are just some wallpaper flowers. So I have an assortment of those in here. And then these are flower stickers. So that's just what I put inside of my folder. So let's get started and we can make one of these together. So I'm starting off here with an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. It's just one solid color. And I'm simply just gonna fold it in half on the 11 inch side. You can also just score it at five and a half if you want a precise fold line. But I'm just gonna simply fold mine. So that's just going to be the base of our folder. And then I did cut out four extra sheets here. So these all measure five and a quarter across by eight and a quarter. And I have four of those here. So pretty much two are going to go on the outside and two are going to go on the inside. So that is just an option. It will make your folder here a little bit sturdier, but you don't have to do that. So these two are gonna be my covers. And I actually like this one for the front. So I'm just gonna glue those right on. And by the way, I'm using the Floral Wonders paper pad. So with these measurements, you will have that little border around your patterned paper. then I'll open that up and I will just glue these two right to the inside. And if you are like me and you have a bunch of little vellum scraps, 
this is just what I'm using for my pockets. And then I'm also going to be using some branding strips. So, I mean, I have a lot more, but these are just a few. And those are just going to go around the three edges of my pockets. So, I'm just going to pull out some pieces here that I may want to use. And your layout may be different than mine. It just depends on the size of your scraps. So, I'm just going to go through and pull out some pieces. So, maybe I'll just put two over on that side. So again, your layout will probably look different. You could even do like two pockets side by side or something like this. It's really just a fun idea that you can play around with, but I think I'm going to go with this layout here. So I pretty much just start with one of my vellum scraps and I'm going to glue three edges of my vellum here. And then I'm just going to put the branding strips on top. So I'm going to start with this side and Let's see, I'll go with this branding strip. So I will put my branding strips about halfway onto my vellum and I'll flip it over too so you can see. It's about like halfway on top of the vellum there. And if you don't have branding strips in your stash either, you can just use your scraps, cut them into skinny strips and you're good to go. So then I'll just cut off the excess here and I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Just pop some glue and then put my branding strip on about halfway. So it looks like that and I'll cut off this excess. And then I will do one last strip at the bottom. And since I have enough of this, I will just put that one right at the bottom. Again, kind of just going like halfway. And then I'll just cut off the excess here. And the only reason I really do that is to hide any of the glue lines. Sometimes they will be very apparent when you're just gluing down vellum. So that's just why I added the branding strips on the edges, but you can always just glue down your vellum straight on with nothing else. So completely up to you. So this is what it's gonna look like from the back. And then that's what it's gonna be from the front. So let me see. I'm gonna glue all my pockets down last, but I pretty much just pop glue here now on my little branding strips and then place them right down. And then that way you don't see any glue and you're using up more of your scraps. So I'm pretty much gonna do this same process for all of my little scrap strips here. And just for reference, if you do want a measurement, let's see, this vellum scrap was about four by one and three quarters. This one is three and three quarters by almost two. This one is five by two. This one over here is four by about two and three quarters. And this one is four by three. So in case you want measurements, that's what I'm using here. So let me just go on and continue gluing my branding strips on.
And another thing too is you don't have to use the same branding strip for one pocket. You can use three different branding strips or two of the same and one different and make it really unique and pretty. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue doing the same process and I'll probably just fast forward so you are not bored. Okay, so here are all my pockets, and now we're going to just glue them down. I think I'm going to start over on this side with the one on the bottom. And simply just glue down the three sides. I have so much glue everywhere, it's just smudging. <laughs> but here is the first page and you can see that you're gonna have different widths, different heights. They're not all gonna be the same unless you want them to be, of course. So I just think it makes it more fun and eclectic that way. And two more pockets to go here. Ta-da! Now we have all of our pockets inside and that's going to be our little folder. So let me just go ahead and decorate the outside. And actually what I'm going to do here is maybe make a little label with my vellum. It's simply just going to be ephemera. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do pretty much the same thing that I did with my pockets on the inside. And I'm just going to glue my branding strips right around the edges. And I'll start with the sides. Don't worry, I have another orange branding strip here. So here we go. Okay, and now we can just glue this down the same way that we did our pockets, except we can go around all the edges and I'll just place it right here in this blank spot. Why not just add some more stickers to the front?
this one's not a sticker. It's just a little ephemera piece from this Always Remember Die Cut Shapes pack, which I won in a giveaway. And I think that's going to be it for my cover. Now you can just fill up the inside. I mean, while I have this pack out, I might as well just kind of stick some of these pieces in a pocket. You know, just as an example. Although this little smudge over here is kind of bothering me. So I'm gonna have to cover it up with this so cute heart. <laughs> and I'll just put it there. And then there's this smaller little heart too that I will just add to the side as well. I'm pretty sure I just smudged glue onto that too but I'm not gonna let that bother me. <laughs> In this pocket, I'm just gonna add some of these big floral stickers. looks so pretty all layered up like this and then I have some project life cards here Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I'm just gonna kind of place those down here and then Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday can go over here and up top here I'm gonna put this beautiful moment card and these other smaller project life journaling cards right in here And then you can always label your pockets or embellish them further, like I did up here. So let's see what else I can add. Oh no, my butterfly ripped. <laughs> that has never happened to me before, but I'm just gonna reattach him and I'm going to put them in this corner, so. Okay, there, he is all fixed now. I'm just going to glue this on partially. It is a sticker, but I want it to poke out just a bit at the top there. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for this folder here. So, I mean, how cute would this be to just fill up with goodies and send in happy mail to a crafty friend or to any friend? <laughs> and we used up a few of our scraps we have this cute little storage folder now, even for our own personal use. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up to let me know if you did and subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun and inspiration. If you have any other ideas of what to do with these, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I love to hear what you guys think and you are all so creative and so talented as well. So it's fun to just share ideas with each other and hear what you would do with this. 
So thank you guys so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Happy crafting and huge hugs.